Hello everyone and welcome back to Psychonauts 2. On the last episode, we uh, explored the Green Needle Gulch, the birthplace of the Psychonauts, uh, to see what we can find around here. We basically just spent all the episode going back and forth between two different locations. There was a building located to the left that was surrounded by honey and bees. Unfortunately, we couldn't just walk up to the door because the bees would start singing us. Luckily, we didn't experience that because there was a smoker down there that would allow us to get a small little barrier to protect us from the from the bees to the right was uh where the vines are coming from which is uh, a giant greenhouse is now being levitated in the sky by the vines uh unfortunately we didn't even go close to the front door because we're saving that for next for next time but we did manage to pick up all of the items that we could find outside including the fa the final uh cards that we needed to go find but upon entering the honey house, we found the Green Needle Witch, who turns out to just be Cassiopeia, one of the founding members of the Psychonauts, who has pretty much exiled herself here. Uh, and even though we told her that Ford's back and that he needs our help, she can't do that because she will be upset. Uh, who is she? That's what we're trying to find out. So... Let's talk with her a little bit and see what we can do. Hello there. Cassie? Shh, they hear you. Cassie, would you sign my copy of Mind Swarm? I was wondering when you were going to ask. It took you so long. Thanks, Cassie. So... Are you the Green Needle Witch? What? Why would you say such a thing? Because you're so pointy. Those are pine needles. They stick to the honey on my suit. I can't help it. Because you lurk through the woods in the dark. I do my beekeeping at night because this darn bee suit is so hot. Because you're so tall. Okay, well, I do wear lifts in this thing so I can reach the upper hives, but what beekeeper doesn't do that? No reason. Well, I'll admit, I have been playing into the legend a little bit. Why? I need to keep people away from here to protect it. This is a sacred place. What's up with these strange bee things? I've lost control of the bees. They're keeping me like a prisoner here. I'm going to help get you out of here, Cassie. Shh. Thanks. What are you doing out here by yourself? Why don't you work out of the mother lobe with the rest of the Psychonauts? Oh, I never could adapt to the whole new Psychonauts thing. I like to stay out here and remember the old days. Also, I want to take care of it as best I can. In case Ford and the others ever come back. Would you mind if I snuck a peek inside your mind? Oh, thank you. I haven't had a checkup since Ford went away. Shadows text. Oh, well, there's nothing behind me, so. Cassie? I. It's okay, I know why you're here. Now, to whom shall I dedicate this inscription? Not that many people find their way in here these days. You must have a good head on your shoulders. Ah, definitely a big one. Now, just imagine what you could do if you were using 175% of your brain! Actually, Cassie, I need your help with something else. We're on a critical mission, but there's a swarm of bees that's making it impossible. Stop right there, young man. Nothing is impossible. If you follow the 25 simple steps I've outlined in my book. Now then, 
Let's go show these bees what we can do when we put our minds together. There's that pesky little volume. Thank you, young man. I have been looking for this silly book forever. Wait, she was going to help me. What? This one? <laughs> oh, I'll admit the author was helpful once, when we needed the money to leave the country, but that was a long time ago. But when the chips were down and we needed to fight to protect our friends? Ah, worthless. Is there another Cassie book in there that could help me? They are all restricted. Hmm. Then again, maybe I could help you. If you were to help me. There are two other books missing from my collection. Dangerous books. These are the books that got us into this horrible situation. These are the wrong books, you understand? Round them up for me. Take them out of circulation. They are overdue. Understand? Then you'll help me with the bees? I'll help you with the whole alphabet, Sonny. All right. Ooh, giant library. Makes sense coming from an author. Oh, there's some emotional baggage up there. Also, the librarian. I love the whole paper aesthetic. Ooh, there's a person of paper over here. Hold on, gotta get our library card. Uh, oh no! Open up! I'll let you in there when you bring me back all of the bad books. I promise. What happened to the other books? Neither of those are the books that you just locked up. Okay, hold on. Are you a goodie or a baddie? Hey, can you help me find these books? I'm her favorite assistant and best assistant, and I already looked, so give it up. You're a ally? I guess we'll find out. Uh-oh. All right, well, while we're here, let's grab as many figments as we possibly can. Okay, you're not... Oh, well, I have something to slow things down. see anything oh okay so it looks like that lever raises and low lowers that I thought the I thought the assistant was a uh, was a friend or a figment I think I hear some There are things up there, so... Ooh, a book by Pratchett about a turtle with a crown. Kind of reminds me of Mr. Pokelope. Hold on. Give me a second. Oh, that red one is going through the, through the grate. Oh, that thing got me. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for it to shrink a little bit. Literature lane. Hey, can you come back over here, please? Aha. Hello, sir. You look like Bill Shakespeare. Oh, there's a nugget of wisdom over there. Oh, uh, it's the easiest way for me to get it. What's that sound? Really, a ledge here, is there? Nope. All right. Well, there's a here's some emotional baggage here. There's a different path for that. Okay, hold on. What do you do? That was simple. Hey, you're not a child. Oh. Well, this. 
This shouldn't take too long. Seriously? Alright, hello, enabler. Why I oughta? <laughs> Hold on. Fun? Getting pretty sore, actually. This thing doesn't even have a saddle. Ooh. Hi, I'm Raz. And I am the Lady of the Lake, helper of knights on noble missions. Ooh, I'm on a noble mission. Can you help me? Sorry, already gave my sword to a handsome knight fighting a dragon. Oh. She's talking about Yambo, by the way. Because <laughs> we did find a reference to a Lady of the Lake thing in Skyrim. It was just right outside of Whiterun. She's actually talking about King Arthur. Oh, I went the complete not right way. <laughs> Hold on. There's more people down here. Hi. Memento Mori. Okay. Hey, have you seen any runaway books? Uh, sorry. Smarts ain't my thing. Oh, that's fine. Are you just gonna continue saying Memento Mori? Howdy! It's later than you think. Sheesh, I'm only ten. <laughs> yeah, are you talking about death? Or are you gonna start throwing in nine lions as well? What is the what are some of these book names are? Uh Goofy Grad Grail Facts. Uh, library lockdown. What's the axe for? Bookworms. They hate my family. Hold on, there's some, uh, book covers over here. I want to grab. Oh, you can actually slow. Oh, wow, I forgot how large the, uh, time bubble range is now. Ooh. Hi, what's your name? Guten Tag, ich bin Gerda, the Pretzelmeister's daughter. Ooh, where's the Pretzelmeister? Papa fell into the pretzel machine. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. Not to worry, it was his secret wish. Really? I think so, that's why I pushed him. Oh, uh, okay. I hope it was his wish. Otherwise, that's murder. There's a half a mind here behind one of these doors that we still have no way to access yet. Oh, well, that, that's unfortunate. I will grab that in just a moment. I need momentum for this. What am I talking about? There we go. Is there anything else around here? Um, I think we're good for now. Yep, we're good for now. Wait a second. I don't remember being in this book. Well, I am now. Ooh. How do I get that figment up there? <laughs> That's going to be a fun question to find out.
text is getting all weird, even though this, all this text is pretty much just filler text. Or Latin, one of the two. A lot of Vespa. I realize I probably could have went left after the wall jumps, and maybe that would have brought me up to where the bee was. Unfortunately, we just threw the book, so who knows where it is. Good dog. Skeleton dog. Little creepy, but it'll have to be. Cassie, you gotta watch out. There's a giant, uh, you out there hunting for you. Don't worry, young man. The librarian can't get in here. That's why she sends in her operatives. Who, me? I'm not an operative. I'm just playing along with her until I find the real Cassie. The real Cassie? Tell me, child, what is your name? Rasputin. And tell me, who is the real Rasputin? The one you are with your friends? With your family? Or the one you say for your special someone? Hmm? Is that the real you? Or are you actually a combination of all those different identities? Important challenges in our lives can cause us to create entirely new identities for ourselves, sometimes summoning powerful archetypes from our unconscious mind. The hero, the explorer, the shadow. My special talent allows me to summon up whatever archetype I need to survive my current situation. Would you like me to teach you how? Focus your mind's eye on a vision of the archetype you need most right now. Is it a trickster? A wise mentor? Or maybe a mighty warrior? Close your eyes. Empty your thoughts. Just focus on the most powerful, most helpful identity you can. You're going to need help. Oh, well, very good. Woohoo! You'll get better with practice. archetype will act on its own sometimes, but you can also focus it on a specific task. Hello, Mr. Archetype. Hey, not now. I'm working. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, your nimble archetype can squeeze through narrow openings, focus your archetype on the door using projection and watch it pass through. So, yeah, we could use it to uh, give it summons. You oh, sure you let him go? That? So cute. <laughs> Dusty. That's the spirit. What a good boy. See where this little fellow takes you. I'll meet you at the end. And then, I'll tell you my plan for the librarian. Turn himself into a uh, paper airplane. Hold on. What do people see me as? Okay, so my archetype, my archetype sees me as the archetype. I oh, know this is just Cassie. Cassie just sees me as this. But now there's two of me. So... That's not good. What do you see me as? Okay, maybe you, maybe I was looking at you. Oh, no, no, no. They both see me as this. Hmm. I'm just a paper man. Okay. Hi. I'm a fish. Look at my bones. <laughs> All right, let's go through the door. So now we've... We finally have access to uh, open up all these doors that we've been seeing. Hey, I know you. Are you from The Mind and Introduction? Yes, yes. Always nice to meet a fan. No time for autographs, though. Sorry. Wow. Conceited. 
Please excuse me. I have a lot of thinking to do. Hi there. Lub dub. What was that? Lub dub. Lub dub. Lub dub. Uh. Lub. Thank you, Heart. <gasps> it's a Stegosaurus. Why so glum, Dino Chum? Well, I'm from an old textbook, and it turns out I'm not considered a real dinosaur anymore. Please don't tell the librarian. She'll throw my whole book out. Oh. You know what? I won't say a word. Your archetype can operate switches for you. Target the switch using projection to tell your archetype to use it. All right, so go over there. Is that a penny over there? Where'd you, where'd you go? Hey, handsome. Hello, go over there. Look, over there. Easy squeezy. Thank you for that. Don't you just love books? Yes, they're delicious. Oh, bookworms. Hello? Hey, maybe you should try reading books instead of eating. Read books? What is that, some no fad diet? Oy. Sounds like a good way to starve to death. Are they the ones causing holes in the books? <sighs> Excuse me? Yes? Are you in pain? To be free of the flesh is to be free of pain, my child. Creepy. How did you lose your skin? I donated my body to medical science. I had no idea this is what they had in mind. Yikes. Are you mad about it? Skin's actually a lot more trouble than it's worth, to be honest. I'm free of rashes, itching, pimples. Aren't you cold? Cold is a feeling of the flesh, my friend. No skin, no cold. What about the missing eyeball and the other half of your muscles? You look like you could teach me a lot about anatomy. You bet. How's this for starters? There's one of me inside of you. Gross. Hey, that's insensitive. <laughs> Why aren't you like dripping blood and stuff. It happens from time to time, but I just go over to the horror books and drip on them. They like it. Bye, muscle man. Bye, baggy old clothes boy. Makes sense. You don't, I mean, I guess your name, how am I supposed to know your name is muscle man? <laughs> anyway, what I was saying was, if you remember the, the gates that were in the Psy King sensorium behind uh. like, where those uh, memory vaults were at, the ones that I could probably cheese if I use the giant ball of fire. Uh, you're supposed to use your memory vault to open up those doors. Or not memory vault, you're supposed to use your projection to open up those doors. So, hooray. Thank you. See how far we can go with this guy. Uh. Here. That enabler is making it impossible to do any damage. Ow! Yeah, good rhyme. Oh god, there's another enabler. Do they like pyrokinesis? Oh, that... Okay, hold on. You gotta focus on the enablers immediately. Especially because the enablers can probably heal. I don't really remember what they do. No I like the secret bookcase vaults. <laughs> but yes, uh... 
your archetype can be a distraction. Oh god, there's a lot of things around here. Our goal is to get up. Where did that thing open up? Over here. What are you a formula for? S sine waves. Hey there. Hello. I'm missing a piece. Can you calculate its volume? No. Kids today. He's 10. <laughs> also, I'm 32 and I don't remember how to calculate the volume, which says more about me than it does your 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 math. Also, we don't have any numbers, but maybe we're just looking for a formula. Remember a couple episodes ago I was bragging about being in calculus? <laughs> Fx ax squared bx plus c. That formula looks so familiar, but I cannot describe it. Hey, do you bite people? Periodically. Don't bite me, please. So, what are you a molecule for? I don't know. What are you a person for? Ooh. Say that, Raz. Hi. What are you two up to? We're running away from our spouses to start a new life together. Okay, uh, that's another cheating couple. Wait, did I talk with you? You don't bite people, do you? Only if their name is Ferris. Huh? Sorry, magnet humor. I don't get it. Hey, are you the formula for a general conical surface? No, I just clenched my belt too tight. Hard to breathe. S sorry. Oh, I'm just going up here. I'm not going to activate this yet. Although we should be following the bees. Is there anything above me? I mean, there's some numbers up here that I can go grab. Huh. This is clearly a grab this. There we go. Why is this a grab this? Hey, you two. Not a good time. Nice sword. Twas bequeathed to me by the fair lady of the lake, so that I may slay this dragon. What did I ever do to you? What are you guys fighting about? No idea. I was just chilling when the crusader here got all aggro on me. Let those be thy last words, worm from hell. Hey, can I borrow that sword? Yes, please take it. Nay, for tis my duty most holy to embed its steel into this deadly beast. See? What normal person talks that way? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what'd, the, what'd the dragon do, huh? Is there a way we could maybe de-escalate this situation? This guy and his horse are just straight up jerks. <laughs> I agree, Silverwind. Dragons are a plague on our land. Mr. Knight? That's Sir Knight to you. Sir Knight? Maybe you should just leave that dragon alone? Have you allied yourself with the devil's winged serpent? Hey, kid. Don't worry about it. I already called the cops. I'm just keeping this weirdo occupied until they get here. Summon whatever reinforcements you wish. We'll need them to haul your stinking carcass away. <laughs> okay, buddy. Maybe we should focus on what you two have in common. Like, do you guys like pizza? Oh, yeah. Me... me too. Well, that's amazing. I had no idea dragons liked pizza. Great. What are your favorite flavors? Pepperoni. I usually get half and half. On one side, I like pineapple and ham, and on the other side, I like maidens and cheese. Oh my god! Pineapple and ham is an abomination! I knew you were a fell beast! Will you two be okay if I leave? Yeah, don't worry. This guy's all talk. I am merely finishing up my pre-smoting prayers. Whatever. I wouldn't take too long? I need the purse tag here. Because the cops are coming. Well, I mean, it's because it's not my problem, so... Is there anything up there? I don't think so. I don't even think we can get to that ledge over there. So there's no point in looking over there either. 
Uh, I think I have everything, so we can go forward. Oh, don't tell me that's the purse tag. <laughs> I think I, I think I just completely avoided picking it up, and now I need it. You are so the purse tag. purse tag. I thought I picked you up, which is why when I went to the purse tag and I was like, oh, you don't have this yet. I was thinking, huh, oh, what did I pick up? I think I hear some emotional baggage here. I'm trying to get it. There we go. <laughs> Hooray for me. Have I leveled up? There's a lot of figments. There's four nuggets of wisdoms, two half of mines. We haven't find we haven't found any memory vaults yet. I do a projection now. Our final ability. I have not leveled up yet. Your archetype can take twice as much damage. Enemies take damage when they melee attack your archetype. So yeah, we can have our archetype be out in, in battles and they'll target it because they'll see it as us. Which is great, but does have a lot of health. Then again, neither do I. Well, I'm getting more. I'm getting more and more health. But also, speaking of uh, our archetype. How's it going? Feeling a bit flat. <laughs> if the voice sounds very familiar, it's because it's the same voice actor or actress, I can't remember. Uh, who voiced Gurr in Invader Zim. And you, and that's just funny because the voice actor of Raz voiced Zim. <laughs> so, yeah. Sup, clone? Aw, that's cute. My clone thinks he's real. God, I haven't watched Invader Zim in forever. I've got this. Sure, sure. You just take it easy, big guy. All right, so you can see this one's going to be very quick. As soon as he pulls it. Why do I have to do all the hard work? Oh, there is a book over here. All right. Huh. Okay, so this book has a bunch of words scribbled out. It's more of a journal than a book. No, wait, no, 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 go back. B. There we go. Quit throwing the books. Was I just charging my blast there? I was. I forgot that was a thing. Nobody kills my archetype and gets away with it. I don't know. Ow. What did I just take that gave me a lot of health back? I guess. That's not possible. Ooh. Oh, these uh these regrets are different. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I thought I grabbed it. Hey, get back here. Oh, there's a memory vault. These are blue regrets. Hold on, I'll take that. Give me. There we go. Let's see, we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Uh, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. Where's P? Where's P? There's okay, so we're missing P Q R, unless I already have it. Oh, well, let's get you. Let's not forget you. Cassie's escape plan.
Was she working in a sweatshop making counterfeit money? Yikes. And I guess she took the fall for it. And just to escape that life, she just, she wrote her book. Used the printing process, the printing press at the counterfeiting station to print off multiple copies of her book. Or at least, you know, the copy of her book. Which then got published, she made a lot of money, bought an escape ticket, and left forever. Good. Good for her. Oh, how am I going to get that? Oh, there's thought bubbles. Oh, uh, okay. I just, I just fall down. Okay. I'm stuck. Get me out. Are you gonna... Okay. I guess you only you only happened twice. Got that quickly. Nugget. Oh, look at the cute little top. Ah, oh, okay, I see. Uh oh. I'll ride the balloon up, and then I take the mental connection that way. H I J K L M N O. Are you seriously? There's no going to be no PQR? That's disgusting. A suitcase tag. Gotcha. Uh, now I have to look. Okay. Why are they not in order? <laughs> Why are they not in alphabetical order? Why is AB over here and CD over there? Oh, that's that's so frustrating. For weirdos like me. <laughs> Where am I? You made it! He helped! Seeing you two work together so well really inspired me. And it gave me an idea. We need to get all of Cassie's archetypes together, round up all the runaway books, and give them to the librarian. But she'll lock you all up! Oh, don't worry. We won't be in them. We'll be with you. Now, go find the others. Hurry! Ah, the teacher's edition. We all learned so much from this one, but we can't have her making up new identities and confusing things right when I'm getting everything sorted. Can we? No, we can't. Just one more book to go. You're right on the edge of becoming my favorite assistant. The battle with Maligula must have brought this librarian to power to make Cassie feel safe. I think I should help Cassie get her aspects back in balance. Yeah, it seems like she, uh... Yep, I think I hear something. Gimme, gimme. Ah, oh, sweet. I mean, I don't want to really speculate right now because I actually know <laughs> what's going on. And I feel like if I speculate, I'll give away the, the thing. But I actually, I, even though I just said that I, I know what happened, uh, I actually don't really remember all that much about what happened. So if I gave it away, I mean, I am still kind of speculating right now. Oh, come on. You can, you can grab those, Raz. Maybe not. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're. Maybe you're never gonna grab those. Never mind. There's so many more up here. Kitty, Phoenix, Duh. Dragon. 
Don't don't go backwards. Well, hold on. Ah. Oh, that figment took a long time to get absorbed. It's kind of creepy. Woo. We're not even at half of the figments yet. Huh, I thought I could grab onto this chain. But also the, ch the chain's the thing that pulls this thing up, which is what I should be doing. You got this archetype. What's up here? Oh, look at this! Hi, Ford. With your bacon. Wow, Ford. You look so young. Ah, yes. I was brilliant back in the day. But now I'm a little, um, all over the place. But I'm sure if Cassie keeps tending her beehives, I'll come back to my old self someday. Oh, this is her mental thought of Ford. Uh... Like, if you just keep on tending to your beehives, Ford will get better that way. That's not how that worked, but I mean, in the end, I guess it ended up going in her favor. Hi, Compton. Agent Bull? Hello, little boy. Can you help me get into the literature wing? I wish I could, but the way through is blocked in a most confusing manner. I, I do get so overwhelmed without Cassie here to help me. She's so good at multitasking, you know. She's my best friend. Why isn't she helping you? I don't know. Where is she? I mean, we should be asking where you are currently, at least the real you. The real you went into the forest looking for Cassie. And you know, you're not gonna get that overwhelmed anymore. We've, we've kind of helped you with that. Maybe you got overwhelmed a, a little bit before, but I mean, it went a little bit on overdrive after the events. I'm gonna speak with you later. Actually, I should speak with you right now. Hi, Otto. Any idea where the missing books are? Nope, no idea. Isn't that ridiculous? I think I'm so smart even though I can't figure out some of the simplest things. <laughs> that was kind of a mean take. Hello, Helmet. Hi, Helmet. And a grand huzzah to you, fine lad. Isn't it a lovely day today? A feast for the senses? Uh, yeah. Except, well, Cassie's acting a little strange, don't you think? Strange acting, you say? Well, not everyone is as well-trained in acting as I am, so best not to judge. Ah, uh, never mind. It's always tempting to look for a dark spot when the sun is shining, young lad. But why not enjoy the sunshine instead? Yeah, so these aren't their real personalities. This is what Cassie thinks are their personalities. Which makes the auto one seem mean. Also kind of makes the Compton one seem a little mean. Hello. Excuse me, Bob Zanotto? Uh, what? Excuse me? Oh, uh, hello. What are you doing up here? Not sure. Probably something to do with plants, I'll bet. I was always really into that kind of stuff. Huh. Why does it feel like she didn't really know you at all? That's kind of weird. This is honestly talking, not like me faking reactions even though I've played this game before, because I like to act out that this is a blind run. <laughs> it's why whenever I experience something during a game that i played before and I go, whoa, what's that supposed to mean? I'm not going to say what it means. Otherwise, I'll spoil the game for anyone who hasn't played it. <laughs> so, I actually don't remember why. You're also very stained. Why are you the only one that's stained? Lucretia? Lucretia Mux? Please call me Lucy. Hi. I don't want to make things awkward, but you kind of murdered my grandma. Well, I don't know who your grandma is, kid, but uh, I don't doubt it. 
I murdered a lot of people. Dark. Why did you murder all those people? I don't really know. I was the nicest person during my time at Green Needle Gulch. What were you doing at Green Needle Gulch? Otto Mentalis recruited me to use my powers for hydraulic titanium mining. Which Kissy told us was very bad for the environment, but nobody listened to her as usual. Don't you also go by another name? Oh, what? Colloquio Max Maligula, Grolovia Spain, Vedvanda. That list one was a stage name for an act that was banned in three countries. Did you used to be friends with Cassie? Cassie tried to be friends with me, but I was too busy making Google eyes at Fort Crawler. I ruined everything, you know. So before you became Maligula, you were a nice, normal person? People are complicated, kid. Ah, you're too young to get it. I'm gonna go. Try not to kill anybody. <laughs> okay, I'll try. <laughs> no promises. I mean, we've seen how Helmet act acted with uh, the figment of Maligula in his mind. Oh, don't tell me I have to come back up here. I need the steamer trunk tag for this guy. I will need to come back up here because I do not have that. Well, you know, it's for the best. I'm pretty sure we can talk with everyone else again at least once to find out a little bit more information. Maybe not Lucretia, but everyone else probably says something else. But I think we're gonna call it here. We can go that way now since we have our we have our little friend. We can we can use him to activate that door and then make our way through that way. Um, we also could go back that way quickly and go grab the thing behind the door, over there, and then we can quickly turn around. That might be what we should do. Yeah. So yeah, we'll go that way next episode. See where that takes us. See where we can find any more. I think we're only missing one more uh, Cassie archetype to go find. But once they're all together, I think we're going to be breaking them out. We'll find out. So, until next time. Hopefully you enjoyed.